Hello and welcome to this short video about the use of Moodle uh, at Grange Park School. Um, the easiest way to log on is to go to our website and then along the top and the menu bar you can see there's Moodle VLE. Uh, this will send you through to the Moodle page um, so it has a little bit about what it is. So it is an online learning platform um, that we're going to be using to support learning and progress both in the classroom setting and through home learning as well. There is a PDF um, that has a parent guide for logging on to Moodle. Um, so you can either click on that and follow the instructions. The Moodle website has a link. So if you click onto the link here, it will take you through to a page that is similar uh, to this. Um, the first thing to do is to log on. If it's the first time logging on, um, then your password um, will be a default password. Um, but then what we recommend is that you change your change the student's password um, after the first time of logging on. And I'll show you how to do that uh, in a moment. So the username would be um, for a student, although mine is Lee.Cooper, um, for a student it would have no dot in there. So it's just the first name and surname together. So if I was logging on um, with a student account, then it would just be Lee Cooper um, as such. I'm logging on with a staff account um, and my password has already been entered. The password for the very first time of logging on for a student is Grange Park, all one word, and it's a capital G and a capital P. Um, so first time logging on, password is Grange Park, all one word, capital G, capital P. Uh, once logged on, if it's the first time of logging on, what we recommend you do straight away is um, the student's name will be at the top. Um, you click on the downward arrow, uh, you will go to profile. And then on the cog on the right hand side, there will be an option to change password. So please change password to something that is memorable for your, your son or daughter. Um, once you've had changed your password, um, you will see a slightly different view to what I've got here, but I'm going to change my view to student. So it will be similar to this. It's unlike it won't have all of the courses. It will just have the one year group course that the student is assigned to. So for this example, we're going to be using year 11. Um, so what you do to click on to go to the page, you just click on the year 11 page to go back to the dashboard. You can follow the breadcrumbs. You can click on Grange Park BLE or you can click on these three lines at the top left hand side, um, which then will enable you to go back to the dashboard um, at the bottom. The dashboard is just your opening screen, kind of what you've seen with the recently accessed courses. So this is what uh, a student will see. I'll just make sure that I am still assigned as a student. So here we go. So it will have useful resources. So we're adding all of the pupil timetables to there. It has um, the English and maths. It has all of the courses, all of the subjects that a student is studying on that particular year group. Uh, and what it will have, as you can see, that's been started to populate because we only released this um, at time of recording. We released this yesterday. So the um, staff are populating their areas with resources. Um, that you can click on to that will help support the students learning. What I'm going to use is the business section as an example, um, because that's at the moment currently got uh, a few more resources added on. So um, some of the resources that will be available are lessons that have taken place. Um, these will be placed in folders. So a symbol like this indicates a folder. For this example, it is the branding unit we're undertaking in business. By clicking on that, it will have the activities, the worksheets, any resources that is being used for that particular unit. So um, like I say, for B7 branding, this is what we're, we're working on so far. To get back out of this screen, just click onto the breadcrumbs at the top and you can go back to the business area. Sometimes there's going to be um, documents that are standalone. So this is the actual specification for the particular and qualification that students undertaken in business. Um, as you can see from some of my colleagues that have added on there, we've got a PowerPoint for Unit 3 Help and Device. Cookery have added all of their recipes to complete at home and put them in a folder. So they will either be in a folder or they're a standalone. Um, and then to download the actual work, um, you just click on the document and then what you can do is open it up 
and then save that to your own computer area uh, to add work to it or add um, comments to depending on what the activity is. So this can be saved in your own area at home. Also as well, there will be links to Zoom lessons for all of the classes. So by clicking on um, my Zoom link, it will take me through to any online lessons that I am undertaking. Um, as well as this with the little world and, and kind of a bit of paper behind, this is a, a link to another website. So for example, we, we used a, a quiz in Kahoot. So this could be a link that, that students use as well. Um, one thing that you can do with the VLE is then complete a bit of work. So I showed you um, in that folder is downloading my brand workbook. Uh, what staff will do if they require students to, to hand it in or upload it, there will be a hand holding a bit of paper as a symbol and then um, a, a title of the relevant section that needs to be handed in. So if I was to ask students to download the brand activity workbook, um, they would go onto here, click download, as I've just shown you. And then what will happen is that I'll say, I want you, you've got a week, I want you to upload um, what you've done so far, is that they will click on the hand in. You will see here that uh, there's a, a grey box that says add submission. Students will click on that and you can use this button here to actually upload a, a file. So you can try and find the file, choose one from your own computer. OK, um, or what you can do and then click upload or what you can do is just drag and drop. So find that particular um, document that you want to upload that you've been working on. So, for example, if I do login on here, just drag it across, click save changes and it uploads it. So then staff can go in and I can access this. Um, I can see this is what been uploaded and then I can download it and access it and have a look at the results. OK, um, so that is a way of the students being able to download some work and then uploading it as well. To get back to where I need to be um, is I can go through to the business section and use the breadcrumbs moving forward that way as well. OK, so all of these will be populated with the relevant resources for the particular areas. There will be useful information that is added onto here as well. So. Um, when using the BLE, it will be implemented into classroom um, environment in terms of activities and using the BLE to help support those activities as well as supporting home learning. Um, one of the key things as well we're going with Moodle is that um, actually the, our colleague partnerships use Moodle um, as well. So the transition is, is smoother and, and it helps remove one of those um, kind of unknowns when students are moving into to college as well. That was a very, very um, quick introduction into Moodle, logging on in, in terms of changing the password and then kind of looking at the resources and uploading resources as well.